Hey everybody, we've got sunshine on the farm today. It's been a couple days since it's rained. We've had a lot of rain already this year, so everything's been good and wet. Uh, we've got a bunch of fertilizer, a bunch of crusting that we've taken out of the chicken houses. Uh, if you've seen my Between the Flocks video, you see kind of what that is and where it comes from. So we use that as fertilizer on our pastures, but as wet as it's been, we haven't been able to spread any. Uh, we've got a spreader truck and we'll load it up, put it out on the pasture. Everything that we own is pretty much hills. We don't have any flat property hardly. Uh, so it makes it even harder when everything's wet, but we're gonna try to load a little bit of this up into the spreader truck today and uh, through this weekend, try to get it spread. We got more rain coming back in the first of the week, but uh, spring's not far away. So it'll be a real good time if we can to get some of this chicken litter spread, get these barns emptied out because we need them for storage. Got some litter loaded up. About to put some fertilizer out on the pasture. Eric's just about finished this load up. On average, we'll usually do one spreader truck load to about two acres. Uh, it's kind of hard to really gauge when you're just out here on the hills, but based on the speed you usually go, and uh, we have it set on the back to come out at a certain rate, you can usually cover about two acres. Eric's headed back to the barn. We'll get another load. Decided to take a ride. We've got Eric over here. Chauffeur of the day. He's the uh, master chicken litter spreader. This quad title. About to try to tackle some of this hill out here. You see in the mirror right there, you can see some see a little bit coming out from behind us. You look, you see some chunks flying. You got the window rolled up because it's kind of loud, kind of dusty. We'll see. See if we can. this in corn, so cows are about our only option. Cows are pine trees. I apologize for the shaky video, but the uh, shocks don't really do much out here. It's better watching it is right. True. We've got a nice view of four of our chicken houses. You watched our King of the Hill video. There's the hill. There are some of the bulls hanging out on the hill. They're all buds now. There's some more chicken houses and there's the bar. That's where Eric lives. Through the trees is where I live. Get real close, you can see a little bit of the grass coming up that we drilled. Hopefully another week or two, it'll really be coming up. Let's 
you look real close, you can see the line start to zoom in. Get seasick out here. It's all part of the experience. You better watch out, girl. I got some new shoes put on her. New shoes, new radiator, new clutch, new starter. Thank you, Randy. Now we're broke. Yep. Too bad they can't smell through the fall. Yeah, a lot of people don't like the smell of chicken litter. They're riding by chicken farms. It smells like money to me. in the video but we make laps in the pasture and when there's a lot more grass it's easier to tell but you kind of just go off the tracks from your previous path and uh, we'll try to stay probably on average maybe 30 so 30 or so feet away from the last pass that usually allows the litter from both to overlap just to make sure you get a decent coverage it's impossible to cover every bit of it but you can cover a majority of it and get some grass going, you're doing pretty good. We were able to get a couple loads of litter spread out today. We've got one barn cleaned out, which is good because we'll be selling chickens before too long and doing more crusting and filling it back up with some more fertilizer. I uh, hope you enjoyed our video. For now, it's time to spend some time with the kids. We got Parker, he's out driving his tractor. We got Coleman. Just hanging out in the stroller. So it's a pretty day on the farm, so we're going to go have a little fun. Thanks again for watching, and we'll see you on the next one.